Although Martin Luther King Jr. Day isn't until tomorrow, the city of Little Rock got a head start on the celebrations and invited people to join together to honor Dr. King's legacy. Our own Vanessa Page shows us their new program. This was the first Martin Luther King Jr. Unity program in Little Rock that has been spearheaded by Little Rock's new mayor, Frank Scott Jr. He says he wants it to be a tradition that continues to remember his impact. Through songs, I know it was the prayer, will not be separated, and the reciting of a speech. That the, Bank of Justice the Little Rock community honored Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in hopes of further uniting the community. What better way to do it while doing honoring the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who is the epitome of unifying our nation. Community leaders met at St. John Missionary Baptist Church for the inaugural Martin Luther King Jr. Unity Program. I think Dr. King would be proud. Newly elected Mayor Frank Scott Jr. says it's important the city host their own event, something that wasn't done in past years. I understand that the city of Little Rock had never had an official uh, program to honor him during the King Day events. And so what we wanted to do the eve of Martin Luther King Jr. Day is host an event, a unity program that brought the city together, uh, not only to honor him, but to focus on unity. The inspiring songs and messages left many feeling hopeful for Little Rock's future. It gave us motivation to get out and work and volunteer and do our part to improve our city. The diverse audience shared prayers of thanks, unity, and potential. We all are brothers and sisters, and what Martin Luther King uh, advocated was us working together, uh, being one big family. Mayor Scott says Dr. King played a significant role in his life and hopes to keep his spirit of togetherness alive. He's so important to me because if there's no Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., there's no Frank Scott Jr. because he was a not one of the great civil rights icons that make certain that we were all able to be afforded the civil rights that we now have today to make certain we continue to have a greater future for our entire nation. Mayor Scott says there are already plans to have the event at another location next year where residents can continue to build unity within the city.